Welcome to the StockOptionAssassin.com's Trade of the Week video. My name is Eric. Today is Friday, April 25th, and we are a few minutes before the open here. Um, and I wanted to, before we get into our trade this week, I wanted to talk a little bit about the overall market and basically what I have up here, and you'll see why. I have the, This is the 200-day moving average, which will be um, a key level to our, uh, our trade of the week and our next chart that we'll look at. But first, I just want to kind of get an overall view of the market and basically the market's been relatively range bound the last few weeks that's partially why we haven't issued a new trade of the week yet we were kind of waiting to see how how bad this sell-off got last week and we've kind of recovered nicely but all we've really done is stayed in this range but on the spy between about we'll call it 189 uh, we had that high here of one eight of 189.70 and then we have the soft and a low of about we'll call it 182 so we're kind of in this range we're at the top of the range we've had a lot of earnings come out it's the earnings been you know in my view kind of mixed there's been some some good earnings there's been some bad apple kind of blew it out of the water yesterday and in, in our member video we talked about how apple i think single-handedly kept the market up yesterday we had that gap up and kind of faded and we're actually looking to open lower this morning there's still a lot of ukrainian russian tension that's starting to surface again so my guess is that we stay range bound and right now we're looking at a mini sell-off in the morning we'll see how the close goes so um we're going to go over two charts today so first um you know if, if the expectation is the market's going to stay range bound we would expect you know we're getting to the top of our our keltner channel remember uh you know over 90 95 percent of all price will stay inside of our keltner channel here and this is a modified Keltner channel. We're using a 13 EMA. That's the purple line. That's a 13 EMA moving average with a 1.5 um, factor on the, the upper and lower band. So as we get to the upper band, it's telling us that the average true range of the Keltner channel is, is getting to the, one of the extreme levels. And we would look for either reversal or for some sideways movement. So, um, so with that, we're going to look at two plays. Um, the first one we're going to look at is Google, G-O-O-G, -O -O -G. and we're not going to do this today. We're going to look at this next week. We've been watching Google and the member and the MTS, our membership service. We've been watching Google and kind of waiting for an entry, and, I, and this is why I have the 200-day simple moving average here. Is Google, so first of all, earnings is over, right? Um, they, they pretty much had a, uh, you know, whatever, relatively decent earnings, but regardless of what their earnings was, what the market reaction is, the market reaction has been actually relatively muted. So we've been kind of fading since earnings, and now we're looking for, we're kind of waiting for a hit of this 200-day moving average, uh, which is right now about 515. So if we get a sell-off into next week, we, we, we want to look at selling the May possibly 500 or 505 put spread, uh, put credit spread, uh, with the idea that that would hold and we would kind of get a mean reversion. So we got a couple things going for us. So first we have the 200-day moving average, which should act as, as a little support. And we also have the lower band of the Keltner channel. And then the third thing that we have here is, is our DMI oscillator uh, is putting in for the past few weeks kind of this bullish divergence where the stock keeps uh, making lower price levels, yet the oscillator is, you know, every time it pivots, it's making higher. So there's some bullish divergence. We have the 200 day. It'll be the first hit of the 200 day and I don't even know how long. Um, forever maybe maybe not forever but anyway so we're looking at selling the something around the 505 or 500 put credit spread and we're going to see where we land next week the entry for this would be once we get hit this level we would look for the next uh oscillator kind of turn up so for example let's say this was the 200 day moving average here and the next day we the oscillator starts to turn back up that's when we would sell that that credit spread so you know we'll see you know do we sell the 510 do, do we sell the uh, 50 the 500 or the 505 we'll have to see where this takes us and then we'll determine that next week so that's what we're going to be looking at for the member video um in our member vi membership videos next week uh one trade we actually put on yesterday i'll go ahead and share that with you is utx so kind of opposite of google where uh, UTX is actually doing really, really well. But again, you can clearly see the range bound nature where uh, UTX has kind of gone up, it's kind of gone down. It reached a peak, hit, you know, you hit these upper part of the, the channel here, oscillator starts to turn down, lower part of the channel, oscillator starts to turn up. You know, earnings came out, um, earnings were, you know, slightly better than expected. And, the, and again, the market reaction is relatively muted. So the last couple of days, we've kind of reached this high and then we started to roll over yesterday. So yesterday we put on a, we sold the 120 and bought the 125 
uh, call spread, uh, call putting on a, a call credit spread. And basically all we're looking for UTX to do is, you know, come back down to the lower part of the band. And also it kind of has this longer sort of channel that's, that it's been in. And we would look to buy, whoops, we would look to buy that uh, spread back for cheaper. We, we sold a $5 strike spread. We got about a dollar for it. So if this thing can, you know, we get a sell off in the next week and we sell off down to the, the you know, 116, 115, we would buy that spread back for, you know, 50 cents, 30 cents, something to that nature. And by the way, we are selling May options. Um, May options have about 25 days left to expiration. And that's sort of the sweet spot for me on how we sell spread. So, um, you know, you could probably get into this today, depending on how the market, I mean, if we get an initial sell off, I'd probably skip this one and wait for, for next week. But if you're looking to get into something today, this might be something you could, um, you probably want to stick with that 120 because you don't want to sell the 115. Uh, and these are $5 strike spread. So, or uh, $5 strike um, increments on the option chain. So anyway, so hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And we will be, you know, looking for that Google setup next week. So you guys have a great day, have a great weekend, and we'll see you at the next update.